So this is the iPhone 13 mini my iPhone 13 mini to be specific. And I've been using this phone as my daily driver for months now. So today I wanna talk about my top five reasons as to why I personally think you should consider buying the iPhone 13 mini. If you enjoyed this video, I would be really grateful if you remember to give it a like. And if you really enjoy it, why not subscribe? It's free. I talk about lots of fun tech on this channel and it will be awesome to have you along. The first thing I wanna talk about with the iPhone 13 mini is the sheer value for money that it offers. This is Apple's cheapest iPhone 13 series phone. However, it doesn't really lack anything that the iPhone 13 has other than screen size. And for me, that's actually a benefit because I personally find a 6.1 inch screen to be slightly too big for my liking. You get all of the bells and whistles of a 13 series iPhone like cinematic mode and of course the excellent support cycle, meaning this thing is going to last for years, while not having to pay crazy amounts of money for it, which is actually really nice in my opinion, so long as you're okay with that screen size. Now, this leads me on to the next thing that I want to talk about. The screen, 1080 by 2034 Super Retina XDR OLED HDR display. And despite the smaller size, this thing still looks absolutely phenomenal. Watching videos, playing games, editing photos, and anything else you might want to do on your phone are all a pleasure to do on the iPhone 13 mini's display. Of course, while the size isn't for everyone, a lot of people will actually want a larger phone screen. I've never had any issues with this thing, despite coming from 5.8 inch and 6.1 inch iPhone phones. In fact, this is the first mini iPhone I've ever owned. So while I was a little bit nervous going into this thing, I thought the screen might be a little bit too small for watching videos comfortably. I have actually found myself adjusting very quickly. And due to the sheer quality of this thing, it is absolutely one of my favorite things about the iPhone 13 mini. I will say that if you do have larger hands, you may want to consider the standard 13 series. You might find it a little bit claustrophobic otherwise, but throughout my day-to-day -day usage of the iPhone 13 mini, I've had an absolute blast with this thing. After this, the next thing that I absolutely love about the 13 mini is the camera. This is absolutely one of the best cameras on the iPhone series and probably the best outside of the pro line. The 13 mini features a dual camera system so 12 megapixel f 1.6 wide angle so this would be for your main photos and a 12 megapixel f 2.4 ultra wide angle which you can use either purely for function so cramming more of your friends into that late night bar selfie well not at the moment. Of course, you do get things like portrait mode to get that blurry background full frame look, along with night mode on all cameras this time, including on the selfie camera, which is actually pretty useful. And functionally, at least, something I find myself using pretty regularly whenever I want to snap a nighttime selfie. The 13 mini does also feature the usual video specs you expect to see on an iPhone at this point. So 4K 60fps on the main and selfie camera, and a 1080p at up to 240fps slow motion mode, with, of course, the 1080p 120fps slow fees on the selfie camera. Honestly, I hope Apple remove that feature so I don't have to say the word slow fees in my reviews anymore. Now, all of this is well and good, of course, but the thing that I really want to talk about is the cinematic mode. This is a technology I have been wanting on the iPhone side of things for years now. Ever since we got portrait mode to get blurry backgrounds in our photos, I've wanted that, but for video. And when this phone was released, we finally got exactly that. While it is still early in its lifespan, and there are definitely some kinks that need to be worked out, namely the fact that it only shoots in 30 FPS, not even 24 FPS for a cinematic mode. I have still had a lot of fun filming videos with this mode. It's also nice that you can change your focus point or add new ones after the fact. So if you mess something up while you're filming, you don't necessarily need to reshoot it, which is nice and convenient. Overall, while the cameras on the iPhone line have been fantastic for a really long time now, I'm glad to say that the iPhone 13 is one of the best ever, despite its small form factor. Up next, we've got a little bit of a strange one that I've noticed, but I've personally been loving. You ever noticed how whenever you get a new pair of jeans, the pockets just seem to get smaller and smaller till one day they implode? Well, thanks to the smaller size of the iPhone 13, this actually isn't an issue. Now, this may sound like a bit of a silly one, but how many times have you sat down and had your phone dig into your hip? Well, this thing fits in all of my jean pockets without overhanging, and due to the fact that this isn't usually the case with phones these days, I have been 
loving this. I mean, the eternal swelling on my left hip has finally started to go down, which is good news. Now all I gotta do is get rid of that black hole from the imploding jean pockets. Okay, in all seriousness, due to the size of this phone, I've personally found handling it to be much easier. I'm dropping my phone less, I'm taking less accidental screenshots, and so for some, while this may not necessarily be a positive, maybe you can use a 6.1 inch phone with none of the issues I've described. In my personal experience, this has basically solved most of the practicality issues I've had with phones. In fact, it's only slightly larger than a first generation iPhone SE. Don't let that put you off though, remember the iPhone SE had big bezels and this phone's screen, well, it takes up the front of the phone. But overall, I have found the iPhone 13 mini to actually be a really practical phone. The final thing that I absolutely love about the iPhone 13 mini is that it will last for ages. As I briefly mentioned earlier, iPhone lifespans have been getting longer and longer. So if you buy this phone this year, chances are it will stay updated for over five years. I mean, at this point, the iPhone 6s is starting to scare me. At this point, I am one iOS update away from hanging garlic on on my doors. No, iPhone 6s, you may not come in my house. Quickly getting back on topic, if that is anything to go off, you could be using this phone until 2029. While I'm personally not opposed to buying used phones, in fact, in most cases, I actually prefer it, there is something to be said about buying a new phone and having it last for a really long time. Planned obsolescence has become much more of an issue in the tech industry over the last decade or so. A staggering amount of e-waste isn't actually recycled properly. And so if you are wanting a phone that will last and that you can use for years to come, the iPhone 13 mini may actually be a good option for you. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, what do you think about the iPhone 13 mini? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Would you rather have this or a regular sized iPhone 13? As for now, though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.